Hello everybody, I'm Sharpen Blade and today I have an unboxing. An unboxing from Monterey Bay Knives. And to open this up I'm going to use the mini old guard. Here is the Monterey Bay Knives pouch and inside the pouch is well there's cleaning cloth and extra uh, hardware like normal there's the cleaning cloth and then the extra hardware in there um, that's there for now So here is the old guard. Now this is the uh, frame lock version. They have the uh, inset liner locks now. That's the current version. I was lucky enough to snag one of these, I wouldn't necessarily say older ones, but <laughs> it's just the old style, I guess. I don't know if they're gonna make many more like this, but it's the frame lock. Now these are supposed to have a uh, stronger detent than the inset liner locks are that uh, have so uh, I was interested to try it out so I'll try to keep my fingers off of the lock bar first flick okay yeah <laughs> that's actually really nice uh, a little bit of oil there um, ooh really cool let's see it's on washers now, if this is the same, um, I don't know if they updated how they have, so I'll explain it a little bit easier, uh, clearer this time. <laughs> On the uh, inset liner lock ones, the updated version, they just have washers. On the older style, they have uh, Teflon, um, phosphor bronze Teflon knife blade. Teflon, uh, phosphor, phosphor bronze, Teflon, pretty sure. It's like a sandwich on each side. So it's super smooth. It's just gonna have to break in, but it's... <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, you can tell. It's not really that huge of a difference, but you can tell there is a uh, stronger detent on this. Um, I like that. That's nice. So I got this knife today. Tomorrow there is a version coming <laughs> of this only it's been modified by the knife modders. <laughs> so um, I may be selling this. I'm not sure. But uh, it might be nice to keep keep it around. I'm at least going to compare this because I'm not sure what mods uh, they did to the knife, you know, action-wise. Uh, I know there's a lot of cosmetic mods to it, but I don't know what they did action-wise, so I'm going to keep this to compare it for now, but I think eventually they may sell this and just keep the fancier version, but, uh, oh, man, that action is so nice. And I'm going to carry this for a bit also to see how much smoother it gets, too, because once that breaks in, I have a feeling it's going to be extremely smooth. Yeah, that's nice, but um, just to give you a closer look at it, it has like a little bit of a texture on the titanium. Back spacer. Let's see here, M390. That's probably not going to show up. No, M390 there. And then no other blade markings or anything except for the Monterey Bay Knives logo right there. I love how sterile their blades are. But uh, yeah, very cool. I'm glad that I got to try one out. Like I say, they, I don't know if they're going to make any more like this. They might, if they do, it's going to be very limited, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to have this in my collection for now. 
I can say may let it go, but I may keep it to use as a user. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I do appreciate the extra, a uh, little bit stronger detail on that. But um, anyways, before I ramble on again, <laughs> which I tend to do sometimes, I'm just going to end the video here. But um, I'm going to leave a link to Monterey Bay Knives uh, in the description of this video. Uh, head over there, check them out. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Take care.